and I now both have red cars. But as you just seen, this one's actually running and driving. So yes, this is a 1990 Chevy Camaro. It's a third generation Camaro. This is a RS model running and driving car. And believe it or not, this thing actually has air conditioning, bro. And no, I'm not going to pop the hood. Not until later in the video. Of course, this thing has some problems, but overall, it is a complete car, dude. And if you guys know anything about these prices on Camaros and Firebirds and stuff like that, these older years, uh, they're starting to go through the roof, man. They're, they're becoming collector's items. This is definitely one of those cars that it's, it's hard to find them nowadays. Uh, affordable and in decent condition Dude, it's got brand spanking new tires need some body work here and there maybe some new body parts <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are just wanting to see Honda content, Honda content, more Honda content. Believe me, this channel is not going to ever completely get away from Honda content, uh, but I am most certainly stupid ass excited to be working on a Camaro right now. If you guys didn't know, my dream car is actually a 1971 Pontiac Firebird. While this is nowhere near that, it's kind of in the same realm. I like to think so. So, yes, this is going to be a build on the channel. My plans for this is just cleaning it up and keeping it as factory as possible and just try to kind of restore, I guess you can say, on a budget, as you guys know, and just make this thing a really nice looking, a really clean looking, all factory, third generation RS Camaro. That's my plan. It currently has power steering, air conditioning, everything is there. It is a full interior car. We're gonna actually look at everything and uh, see the condition of it. It currently has seat covers on the front. I do think this driver's seat is a little beat up. Definitely gonna need a dash pad. I need to get on the old Google machine and see what kind of stuff I can find for that. But today, what I really wanna focus on is just like we always do, whenever we first get a car, I just wanna clean it up and get a really good look at what it is we have here. So I think a lot of this that's on the hood might pressure wash off if i'm being honest this is not the factory hood this is a fiberglass hood i believe it's an aftermarket um it's missing the little like louver pieces that go in the center i honestly i have a pretty good idea of something that we can make to put right there to take up that void you know of something missing excuse me door and before we actually get into that, I do want to give you guys an update on old Ludacris here. So currently as I'm recording this right now, it is Sunday. Um, the junkyard that we went to and got all the parts for this in the last video, they are not open today. I'm not sure if they're open tomorrow since being tomorrow is a holiday. So we're kind of at a standstill because we do want to put a new uh, distributor on here. That's going to be the next thing. Braven has replaced the crank position sensor. He replaced the coil. Both of those things are brand new and we still don't have spark. So next we're going to run down and go grab that brand spanking new looking ass distributor that was on that car that was at the junkyard. <laughs> but we don't know if it's even open tomorrow. And if it's not, then we gotta wait till Tuesday. So we're kind of at a standstill on this. So that is the reason why, in the meantime, I wanted to introduce you guys to my new Camaro. one time was completely red somebody uh like two-toned it with spray paint i guess all the black trim that's on the bottom of this is just all black spray paint over i believe the factory red uh this door was replaced at some time or actually you know what they did body work on this and then uh try to paint match it with like a maroon red it's just two different reds you know what i'm saying uh and at some point it looks like this hood was the same color red as the rest of the car but then they primered it so it looks like it's that original red and then primer and then that maroon red and maybe there was a clear coat on here dude it's so hard to tell man there's many layers of things that are coming off with the pressure washer right now but i'm kind of curious as to whether if i came out here with like a really fine grit sandpaper and try to just kind of sand on some of this if it might break it up a little bit more. Like, I just, I wanna get the car a little bit more presentable right now. Before paint, 
you know I want more than anything just to tear this thing down and just paint the whole thing but we're not we're not ready for that just yet 320 grit and just like I said I'm just gonna try to work at some of these layers and get some of that crap off of there So it is starting to look a lot better, but there is an issue. I am breaking through that original red to a white primer that's underneath it. So uh, no matter what, this hood isn't gonna be all one color until we actually get down and start painting this car. But I do think it's gonna look a lot better than what it was. I need to come back by hand and get all these little spots that are inside of like the body lines. Um, this is a fiberglass hood, so I can't just use the DA and try digging into here because I can start misshaping the hood, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna try to get these spots by hand. Doing it by hand's a little less aggressive than using the sander, so. Hopefully I won't have any burn through spots. I don't have high hopes of being able to make these wheels presentable without completely sandblasting them and refinishing them, if I'm being honest. Um, there's like a bunch of shit on them. I tried pressure washing it and it's just removing what I believe to be clear coat. So <laughs> anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and try to scrub some of the staining off. My mom, she's been on like this Team U. I don't know what it's called, Tim U, Team U freaking trip lately where she just orders all kinds of shit that costs like a dollar or two dollars or whatever i think that's where she got this i don't know my daughter showed up at home from coming from my mom's house and said mom said to get or <laughs> grandma said to give you this so this area right here fills up with soap i have that filled with dish soap and then you put this on a hose and then it's adjustable like how much water comes out and i think this spins <laughs> We're gonna give it a try, bro. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. It's not spinning. This is kinda of just a scrub brush with a hose attached to it. <laughs> I think it's already out of dish soap. This thing sucks! Don't worry, it's not gonna hurt my mom's feelings. <laughs> She don't even watch my videos unless it's about her truck. Besides, I think my mom also gave me this. So I'm still using something she gave me. All right, outside is as clean as I'm gonna get it for the time being. Went ahead through the battery on the charger, so while we are cleaning, uh, the battery can go ahead and charge up because it's a little weak. Now, moving on to the interior, I just wanna do the basic, bro. I just wanna get all the stuff out of it um, and just kind of vacuum it out, wipe some things down and stuff. I am just, I'm really excited that this interior is complete. I know underneath the seat covers, there's prob, I mean, the seats probably aren't gonna be perfect. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, dude. These are in a lot better condition than what the Blazer seats were when I first got it. Dan, that's actually crazy to think about, though. The Blazer is a 87. This is a 90, so the Blazer's actually older than this. I don't know, just the vibe of the car. This car feels like it's older than my Blazer, but I don't know, it is what it is. Anyhow, I'm just gonna go ahead and take all the stuff out of this. Anything that's trash, I'm gonna throw away. Uh, it, but there is like some parts and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and put all that in the trunk. Speaking of trunk, I haven't even had that open yet. How do you open that? Is there a freaking keyhole? <sighs> Dude, these tail lights are sexy as hell. I don't care who you are, you have to admit that. <laughs> Anyhow, that is hood. Oh, uh, say, have a glove box? 
Dude, you have all of that dash right there and no glove box? What the hell? For some reason I can picture this having like an electric hatch. Like you push a button and it pops. What the hell? Hmm. I guess it just opens. Dude, can you imagine that speaker box actually being in use in this back window? That thing would thump hard as shit. Though, it would probably also rattle like crazy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do anything. I just um, came back here and lifted up. Hmm. This also isn't lined up. Looks like it's too far back. Either this is too far back or these are too far forward. It's probably this. Ugh, shocks are also blown. Shocks are blown on the rear hatch and on the hood. But for the hood, I went ahead and I drilled holes in the shock and just put cotter pins in it. <laughs> so it'll hold that son of a bitch open. Once again, just doing a really quick cleanup. I still need to wipe down the front. I already wiped down the back panels. I gotta wipe the front panels down, but um, I'm not wanting to do, to do any like deep cleaning. I do have like the scrub brush on the drill and we can bust out some carpet cleaner and super clean and try to get you know some stains out of the seats and pull them out and pressure wash them and all that stuff but i'm not wanting to do that right now i just want to do a basic cleanup get a good look at this thing see what's going on um and then get a game plan on what it is we want to do to just kind of improve the overall look of it so now i'm just going to go ahead and wipe all the dust down and everything off of all the panels in here and off the dash and good lord that dash is cracked somebody can find me I haven't even tried to look yet, but if somebody can find me a cap that goes on the top of this, send me a link, dude, somewhere. Send it to me. <laughs> I appreciate it. You saved me some research. Because other than the top, uh, this dash is in like excellent condition. It's kind of hard to see right now because how dark it is, but yeah, there's no cracks or anything, any kind of imperfections in this dash other than the actual pad on top. God, I'm probably gonna break chunks off this thing trying to get the dust off of it. And no, I don't want a dash mat. <laughs> I think dash mats are tacky as hell. I mean, it would look better than this, don't get me wrong. So, you guys wanna know the bummer about the Camaro? Kinda like Braven's car being an automatic instead of a standard, um, with the Camaro, it's not a V8 car. It is actually, from my understanding, a 3.1 liter uh, V6. But it's all original, man. My, my plan is not for that to be a race car. Um, it does have air conditioning, it has power steering and all that. So I would like to just get it back to original and get it all clean and nice. We might. Anybody who is into the Camaro, I don't want you to get too terribly excited because this would be a down the line type of thing. But I do have this small block right here. So I do have a small block Chevy. This is a 383 stroker. Of course would need to be gone through and cleaned up. Um, I would probably want to pull the heads and pull the pistons and like everything and basically freshen the entire thing up. But 
I do have that engine sitting there, which will bolt up to the 700 R4 that is currently in the Camaro, in which that's that's a freshly rebuilt transmission from my understanding. So we do have future plans, but for the time being, I'm gonna leave this a running and driving car. I'm not gonna tear it all apart like I did my poor truck out there, so it just sits around forever. If we get to that point, we'll make sure we have everything to do it and then just freaking do it, you know what I'm saying? But for the time being, it's gonna stay the way it is. But I would like to clean the engine bay up a little bit. I'm not gonna get too crazy with the pressure washer on all of this because I really don't understand this thing right now. Um, and I do see that there's like a lot of kind of old exposed wiring and stuff. So I don't wanna create any problems. I just wanna do a light little cleanup. And there's like a bunch of leaves and everything all piled up in the corners. I would like to vacuum out and just do a little, just a little cleanup, make it look a little nicer. drives AC power steering all that stuff like I've already mentioned um, the only problem with it is I guess it overheats man and I don't know why the previous owner doesn't know why I, it could easily be a water pump hell it might be a thermostat but I, I believe they said that they replaced the thermostat but that's what we need to do next is try to figure that out day and what I'm thinking the problem with this is for one I don't know if the fan comes on I'm waiting for it to heat up to see if the fans even gonna kick on but even if it does it don't even have a fan shroud down here look at this I mean what is that fan even gonna do other than just spin air inside of the engine bay it's not gonna it's not gonna suck any air through the radiator cuz uh yeah there's no shroud well, thermostat just opened. But the fan is not kicking on. Yep. definitely up to operating temp so the uh, fan should be on but it's not and there it goes sucking down water so I'm gonna go ahead and let it cool back off so it'll suck all this water down get rid of any air pockets it possibly has but yeah I'm definitely gonna have to fix that so I need to um figure out if I can get like a factory fan shroud for it or just take that old ancient ass electric fan out of there and do some new electric fans or something. I think I have some 
like factory style fans out back. Maybe I can make work. That and this thing has a stumble. Most certainly probably needs a tune up and stuff. So uh, we're gonna dig into that another time. Yeah, guys, we're gonna be getting up early in the morning, uh, Braven and I, because that junkyard actually is open tomorrow. We're gonna mess with that and I'll probably mess with this a little bit more tomorrow as well. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you guys think of the third gen Camaro. And I already know most of you guys are just gonna absolutely hate it. I get it, man. But I'm doing what it is I enjoy doing. So that's what's important. It is my YouTube channel. Peace out and I'll see you guys on the next one.